to so um, doing different kinds of this is another and we will hear more about this later this is absolutely revolutionised how people do in case where the vision guys have been brilliant and some of it's coming out of natural learning our deep learning work so um, but this in this example oh um, me just got to bring up my other screen again. I don't want to lose my clock. Um, so we have a huge um, so and build our model down to our new task. And notice we don't have much data. And hopefully these, um, but we're going to use the trained model to initialize our target model. This works brilliantly. Um, and it's the basis of, of a lot of modern techniques. This is uh, one way of thinking about this is the idea of self-supervision. So what tasks are you going to use? To put? So what people realised is they could make up a task, an artificial task, and they get, which is called self is going to make it up. Um, and that let, lets you train pre-train a really good initialization for your learning task. And so example, yes. Um, examples of the self-supervision are um, convert an image to black and white and predict the colors. You could mask out a little block of the image and try and predict, try and fill it back, fill in missing passages. You can just take a, a very large image database and just do general classification on it. You can do similar things with text as well. Of course. Hello? Yes. Oh, my voice is not clear. Um... Hello, my voice isn't very good. <coughs> there is some sort of an issue. Uh, not much I can do about it. I okay. could well, I said... try reconnecting. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm um, not an Ethernet. Someone might have to reconnect me. Hello? Yes, we can hear How weird. We, we can hear but, you, but... But slowly. Mm. I'll speak slowly. I think that's all I... Okay. Um, uh... Another of neural nets is um, of deep learning are generative models. And this is an early example. Aren't these faces terrible? Example of generating faces. Uh, I like to think of these, these techniques are very similar. So the GAN is quite closely related to the VAE and their generalizations of some old techniques, principal component, components analysis, matrix factorization. So these are nonlinear versions of these much older methods. Um, and you can... It's interesting to see the outgrowth. I know the older methods. And this guy has a very good tutorial on the subject. Um, I've just got to wrap up. Actually, I think I'm coming to my...
last slides here. Um, there was an early neural net concept called an encoder decoder. And a variational autoencoder is a is a probabilistic model matching an encoder decoder. I'm showing the variational autoencoder on the left and the encoder decoder on the right. Um, now deal with incredible nonlinear nonlinearities and complex hierarchical models um, has I'm sure you all know about the developments in image analysis, in speech recognition, in language translation. But really, the is what we call graph neural networks. And the idea is to map a graph on the left side into a vector space on the right side. 